So after the attack on Pearl Harbor, the United States, we know, is all in on the war, and President Roosevelt met with Churchill, with Great Britain's leader, and they came up with a plan that they were going to focus on Europe first. So even though the Japanese were the ones who attacked um, the United States, they're going to focus on the Germans and Europe first. And once they get that under control, then they'll go deal with the Pacific. They'll go deal with the Japanese, and they'll take care of what's happening in the Pacific. So they, they have this Europe first plan and mentality. So the American general, Dwight Eisenhower, he was in charge with um, taking care, with um, getting Northern Europe. That's what I thought. I was just making sure. I was looking at my screen. So he was in charge of taking care of Northern Europe. So he put together a big attack um, in Normandy, and he stormed the beaches of Normandy, France, in what's called D-Day. And so that was, it was a really big day. There were a lot of lives lost, but it started the process of liberating or freeing France from being under German control. So the battle, the D-Day happened in June of 1944. Then in December of 1944, there is the Battle of the Bulge, and it was the largest um, battle that American soldiers were part of. So Hitler knew that the end was coming. He knew um, that he was not going to be successful, but he was still trying. So he tried, it was like a one last chance to try and push back the Americans. And um, it didn't work. So the Americans were able to, to regain their ground. And so they were pushing it on him from one way. So, you know, he had moved out of Germany. He had occupied several different countries. And now everybody's kind of trying to push him back because in the Battle of the Bulge, the Americans are pushing him back from one side. And then the Soviet Union was able to push all the Germans out of Russia and now pushing them back into their homeland. So now everybody is kind of pushing from all angles to, to send the Germans back to Germany. Um, and also, at this time, the Allies invaded and attacked Italy. You know, Italy was one of the Axis powers, so they um, Italy surrendered. So that was something else that was happening during, while everybody was also focusing in on the Germans. So now that we are turning our attention um, to the Japanese, if we think about the geography of Japan, there's lots of little islands. So the Allies, their plan was they were going to island hop. They were going to, you know, go island to island to take over the Japanese. Um, so they they fled, They were forceful with key islands, um, but the Japanese were really defensive. They were they played really good defense. Um, and so one of, there's some really cool Fleming County history, and if after, you know, COVID stops um, preventing people from going, if you go to the Covered Bridge Museum in Flemingsburg, right in town, there is some, there's some um, neat history on this. So the Battle of Iwo Jima, I'm going to pull up the picture. It's a picture um, that a lot of times is associated with World War II, and um, it is a picture of the flag being raised at Iwo Jima. Um, it was it was a big battle, and you'll read in the in your lesson that it took them five weeks to clear this small island of Japanese defenders. So there was um, the battle, and this picture. And you can ask um, any adults that you know; they've probably seen the picture. It's a picture of a, the flag being raised. So they were putting the American flag up, and one, there's six mar Marines doing that. One of the Marines is a Fleming Countyan. His name is Franklin Sousley. He was killed um, in the Battle of Iwo Jima, but one of, in this iconic picture, one of them um, was from Fleming County. So that is some neat history that we have um, about what happened in World War II. And they've got more information on that um, at the Covered Bridge Museum. So that would be something neat and fun to do. You could take a little field trip one day if it opens back up. But so during this, and um, we know that President Roosevelt is the president that's leading over the uh, World War II. He's the American president. He died suddenly in April of 1945. So then Vice President Truman came up and he became the president. So, the, all the other Axis powers had surrendered at this point. They were like, we're done. The Allies win. Well, Japan wasn't going to surrender. And so, President Truman, new President Truman, 
was really nervous about um, sending troops into Japan because the Japanese, they had proven that they um, they were pretty worthy opponents. They could fight. You know, they had they attacked Pearl Harbor. Now it, they've been really defensive. It's been really hard. As um, the Allies are trying to island hop, it's been hard to keep them pushed back. So he was afraid that a lot of American lives would be lost if they invaded Japan. So he decided, he authorized the use of the atomic bomb, and he dropped two, one on August 6th, 1945 at Hiroshima, and then three days later, so on August 9th, dropped a second at Nagasaki. Um, and that, the, the second atomic bomb is what caused Japan to surrender. Um, so while everything was going on, while... They were, there was fighting in Europe, while there was fighting in the Pacific, while everything was going on, a lot of American men were in battle, so they weren't working um, to create things, to make goods that the soldiers needed, so women really stepped up, and they, they ran factory machines, they built equipment, bullets, uniforms for the military. And so up until this point, women had really worked in the home. Um, it, was, it was very rare to see a woman hold a job. But after, even after the war ended, a lot of these women kept their jobs. And so that kind of, um, for one reason, a lot of men had died in the war. So not as many people were coming back to fill the jobs that had left, as that there were when they had left. But also women enjoyed work. I mean, it was seen that women were valuable and could do the work. So several of them kept their jobs after the war, which was very new um, and kind of unheard of before then. 